Welcome to another exciting episode of the Josh Cast. Uh, for the 1.2 listeners uh, who listen to this, I want to apologize for not being uh, for not doing a podcast a week earlier. I'm still uh, recovering from a bit of a cold. You know what? That's not an excuse. Even if I had lost my voice, I should I should have done this podcast. I should have been there for you. Uh, and you wouldn't have been able to hear me. Or maybe I would have, it, would, it would have sounded like this. And that might have been a very interesting podcast. Welcome to the Josh Cast. I'm an erotic Jewish man. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't record then. I, I, I think we all, I think I made the right call. I think we, not, we can all agree on that one. What do I want to discuss today? Well, I saw an article about how there's an, uh, an online retail company that's selling a Lego set. And the Lego set is Donald Trump's wall. So it's a bunch of little gray Legos and, you know, little Timmy uh, puts the Legos uh, together. And when little Timmy is done, he has a big gray square wall to keep America safe. And I noticed that the Lego set was for ages five and up, so Donald Trump can't even play with it. Oh, hey, 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 wow, wow. Did, did somebody did somebody order a punchline? Blah, 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 blah. The thing about this toy that I find most fascinating is when I look, when I look at the box that it comes in, there's a picture of the wall and a little Lego Donald Trump standing in front of it looking, well, frankly, angry. and But behind the wall, there's another Lego figurine who's dressed in a sombrero and a poncho and is holding a maraca. Now, I'm not an expert in uh, other cultures, but I think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a wild guess and say that this is a Mexican citizen. And, st- and behind this uh, other character is uh, blue skies, cactuses, and a Mayan temple. Now, I, I uh, again, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm also not an expert in geography. I did not know that there were Mayan temples literally right behind the wall that they wanted. I didn't know there was a Mayan temple at the border of Mexico. I didn't know the Mayans got that far. Uh, uh, so that's... You know, I'm learning new things about history uh, every day, apparently. I'm also trying to figure out, because we've got this character, this this Mexican person, who is, uh, I must, you know, that's what I love, too, is that I feel like the people who were coming up with this concept said, you know, let's not, you know, let's throw every possible cliche we can. Let's, every possible cliche. I also love the idea that... Mariachi bands are just standing right at the border. Although in this particular case, I don't know where the rest of the mariachi band is. There's just the guy with the maraca. I can't help but wonder if if the other members of the band actually crossed the border and there was a big hurry because the wall was being built and and they said we just we don't we we have to hurry and the guy with the maraca said you go ahead I'll distract them with my maraca. And they said, no, 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 we're not going to separate. We are, we are mariachi bands. We, you know, we are a band of brothers, hermanos. That's what we are. We are un band of hermanos. That's, I feel like I need to write a letter of apology just for attempting to say that. (laughs) Pardon my mucus. But yes, I don't know where the rest of the band went. And I think maybe he, maybe he used his mariachi or his, his maraca to uh, uh, distract the Lego builders while the other uh, members of the band successfully were able to get it. But here's the other thing. I mean, when I'm looking at that picture of, of uh, Mexico, quote-unquote, the sky is beautiful. There's a beautiful Mayan temple. You've got this you know, lovely member of a band who seems quite delightful. Uh, 
I mean, I can't help it if, if I'm the kid building the wall. I'm going, well, where's that set? I'd rather play with the Mayan Temple uh, and the, the Mariachi Band. Why? I, can I do more with than just have this wall, please? I think that that... And I, I also think that the uh, that particular set is incomplete. It should come with... Uh, a democratic congress that's going to vote down the wall that's but it i think you have to buy that separately oh 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 did 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 somebody order a punchline so um so that's happening that's that's the thing going on right there um i always i don't know i always get nervous when i talk politics because i don't want to uh and my voice is, is still not quite recovered. So the more I do this podcast, the more I'm starting to sound like Batman having a podcast. Batman having a podcast. Batman having a podcast. Now there's... Oh, that'd be great. I mean, I, I don't know how long it would be. He's not much of a talker. But what if he was? This is the Batman podcast. I'm Batman. What if he did... The, what if Batman did a podcast like Marin does a podcast? My guest with me tonight is the Joker. Now, the Joker. A Joker. Is it true that you don't like me? Tell me you don't like me. It's, I, I, I keep hearing that you don't like me. What's, what did we do? What happened? I, you know, I, back in the day, I, I, was, I was a dick. I admit it. And we had a thing. Let's, let's talk through it. Let's process this. Now I'm afraid. Here's what I'm afraid of now. I'm afraid that A... Uh, Trump supporters are going to listen to this podcast and they're going to get really pissed and they're going to kill me. And or B, Mark Maron is going to listen to this podcast and he's going to get mad at me. But actually that could be a good thing because then if he gets mad at me then and he feels he needs to process it, he'll have me on his podcast, which will enable me to build up a following on my podcast. So this could this could all work out quite well. My voice is continuing to degrade. Ah, uh, and there's mucus. I'm sorry. I should. This is. This. I mean, I should. I should re-record this. I should not put. I should not put this out. I. You know, the problem. I. I don't have someone right now to say, "Hey, Josh. Josh. Hey. Hey, Josh. Josh. Uh, stop it." That's the kind of energy that I need. But I don't have that. But mo- But no, we plow through. I'm not giving up. By gum. This podcast is a dream. Oh, I had an idea, by the way, for a horror movie I wanted to share. This is my idea. It's actually, it's a, it's a horror movie involving podcasts where the main character is the last man on earth who does not have a podcast. And everyone else has a podcast. And the entire movie, everyone else is hunting him because they need a guest. And they want an authentic guest who doesn't have a podcast of their own. I... I think it could be the next get out. That's all I'm saying. That is all I am saying. Um, there's a giant van in front of where I am parked. And vans are tough. If, you know, if you're driving a van and you're not a government agent or a flower salesman or, um, you know, a soccer mom, that's, that's a tough thing. It really is. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the van from uh, 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 Inspector Gadget. Da, 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 Inspector Gadget. That's how I remembered it from the song. Because I remember he had a car that, that it was like a Toyota Celica that transformed into a Dodge Caravan. That was his car. That was Inspector Gadget. Because I think I even looked that up. Because I was thinking, that is, his car looks like a Toyota Celica. And by God, it, well, I looked it up and the animators modeled it. I think it was after either the Celica or another sports model of a Toyota, I think. But he has a Toyota Celica that transforms into a Dodge Caravan. And that's what a, what a, great, hero, what a great heroic car. I love that. I love it. I, I would love to drive a Honda that transforms into a... Uh, Jeep Wrangler. Why not? Why do all the superhero cars have to be these expensive uh, and, you know, rare cars? Why not? Why not have a Camry that can turn into a Corolla? 
uh, just to throw off the bad guys. I don't. I see no reason not to. And I think that's the end of the podcast now. Do I need to say that's the end? You know it's the end. You see the little timer on the end of the thing.